Okay, so um, now we're going to talk about Pierce P series and the harmonic series. These are special series. You want to get used to recognizing them. And the P series is this, um, for example. You, well, you have the summation from 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the P. P is a number. So, for example, um, the summation from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared is is a p-series situation where in this case p is equal to 2 if I compare the two, right? This is a p-series. And um, this one is a special type of p-series where p is equal to 1. This is called a harmonic series. We saw this earlier. This is a special kind of series. Um, it's a special version of a p-series. Specifically, when p is equal to 1, this is a harmonic series. So, if we recognize that a series follows this form and is a p-series, then we can determine the convergence or divergence of the p-series. If p is greater than 1, then this series converges. If p is between 0 and 1, then this series diverges. So for example here we said that p was 2. In that case p is greater than 1 so that means that this series will converge. And the harmonic series is always p is equal to 1 which follows this and therefore this harmonic series will always diverge. Okay? Harmonic series always diverges because a harmonic series is the special form of a p-series where p is equal to 1. So again, the summation from 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the p is a p-series um, type of situation. And then again, if it is, if it follows that form, we could determine convergence or divergence. So it's just a matter of some of these you just want to recognize the series and then through, recogni uh, th through recognizing those series, you could determine convergence or divergence, and otherwise, you have to use some of these other methods to determine if it converges or diverges. Um, so let's look at these. For example, first things first. Um, I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over m to the one-fifth, which I can because the fifth root of n is the same thing as n to the one-fifth. And so if you uh, compare this to what we stated here, right, one over n to the number, in this case the number is one-fifth, then this is a p-series, it follows that form, where p is equal to one-fifth, correct? Comparing to this, right, one over n to the p, one over n to the one fifth, p is one fifth. And um, using my p series test for convergence, if p is between zero and one, inclusive of one, then it diverges. So in this case, p is equal to one fifth, and therefore the series diverges. So again, I want to recognize the p series, and then from there, based on p, I could determine if it converges or diverges. Um, now, this one here is not represented in that summation form. So I'm going to write it out first. I want it to start at 1 and go to infinity. So if I were to rewrite it, um, let me rewrite this. There's you know a pattern here. 1 plus 1 over 2 times 2 to the 1 half plus 1 over 3 times 3 to the 1 half plus 1 over 4 times 4 to the 1 half plus blah, blah, blah. Um, you can see that. You know, I can kind of bring these two together. 2 to the, now when I multiply two terms with the same base, I add the exponents. And 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves. So 2 to the 3 halves plus 1 over 3 to the 3 halves plus 1 over 4 to the 3 halves plus. And that's going to keep going. So you see the pattern. It's 1 over n to the 3 halves. All right? If I plug in when n is 1, I get 1 over 1 is 1. If I plug in n is 2, 1 over 2 to the 3 halves, which is equal to this. Plug in 3, and so it follows exactly what this says. It's just not represented in summation form, so I wrote it first. And now that it's in this form, 
hopefully we recognize this as a p series 1 over n to the p, where p is 3 halves. So because it is a p series, because p is greater than 1, that means that the series converges, right? It's a p series, p is greater than 1, it converges. Right? Again, you want to recognize the fact that it is p-series to begin with, and then, of course, you can use the p-series test. Now, this one should be a little bit easier. Um, well, uh, if I want to rewrite this in this form, you know, with uh, the summation here, I have to be careful. So I want 1 plus, 1 over. Now, this is 4 to the one-third plus one over, nine to the one-third plus one over, 16 to the one-third plus blah, blah, blah. Um, my goal is to be able to write it from one to infinity as one over, you know, n to an exponent. So I want this to kind of go up by, you know, one, one, two, three. I can actually rewrite this as one plus one over. Now, 2 squared is 4. 2 squared to the 1 third. I'm not changing it, right? This is the same thing as saying 4 to the 1 third plus 1 over 3 squared to the 1 third. This is the same thing as saying 1 over 9 to the 1 third. You see a pattern here, plus 1 over 4 squared to the 1 third. This is the same thing as saying 1 over 16 to the one-third. So I'm not changing it, I'm rewriting it. This can be simplified more as one over two to the, now power over power, I multiply the exponents, two to the two-thirds plus one over three, to the two-thirds plus one over four, to the two-thirds, and now if you recognize, I'm able to write this as one over n to the two-thirds. Right, if I plug in 1 for n, 1 over 1 is 1. If I plug in n is 2, 1 over 2 to the 2 thirds is the same. If I plug in 3, right, so it follows exactly what this states. This is just the summation form of this. And now that I put it in this form, you can see again, it follows a p series type of form where p is equal to 2 thirds. Now p is equal to two thirds, which is you know less than or equal to one in between zero and one, which means that the series diverges. Right? I recognize it as a p series. P is two thirds. If p is between zero and one, then the series diverges.